Hi, this is my game. Well, it's a dungeon crawler, but it's basically situated in a forest and the player has to find treasures. So I started out by including the libraries that I'm gonna use, need, and then the variables. I have this, the first one is used for the array, the constant characters, and then the other ones are used for each enemy, giving them a character, and then the hero, and then I have the treasures, and the characters, keys, and answer that I use for the player to put in uh, for the input, and the uh, score. I start out by making a function called format, which sets up all this thing here in the beginning of the game with the information and what the user needs to know. Then I make a structure of the enemy types, which just uh, are used, are, are, which is used for the positioning of the enemies. And then I declare one for all the enemies, and I may treasure an enemy as well, so I don't get complicated much because it works the same way as an enemy. Uh, the maze array function just prints out the array, which is right here, and the array is basically the trees that build the whole maze, forest, whatever. And then the structure called moving hero is the one that I use for the player, and it also declares, it also just position, uh, declares the positions x and y of the player. The player properties function um, this sets the player in the beginning position, which is x1, y1, and adds it to the maze. And of course, assigns the character hero, which is a P. The clear screen function just clears the whole screen. It f adds the format function again, and then adds the player, and then draws the whole maze again. The add enemies function adds uh, all the enemies in the beginning and it adds, an, it adds them randomly on the x and y, random, and assigns it, uh, the character, which I declare the variables above, and adds it to the maze. The replace enemies function um, adds a space to where the former enemy used to be and then calls the add enemies function to add, add to add the new enemies again to a different place and then clears the screen. Um, the win function just uh, adds a treasure randomly somewhere it's currently the treasure is currently invisible because it would be more challenging for the player to look for the treasure than just see it there and go to it. Uh, the else if function is used inside the the water enemy function. Uh, it just I just put it here in order to make the water enemy function a bit shorter. So this else if function just asks uh, it just uh, gives the user a statement. It pauses the system so the user is able to actually read what it's saying. It uh, places uh, an empty space to where the player has been and it teleports the player to a different place, a random space, location, position. And then the clear screen function is all called again and then it redraws everything. The fire enemy uh, ask is a function where that is called when the user hits a fire enemy. So it asks the user to do something like uh, throw a fireball or a bucket of water and the fireball just adds 5 points if the user presses the fireball and if the user presses the bucket of water this character, that is, it, he loses 5 points and he gets the statement. The water enemy does the same thing, it asks him if what he wants to do. If he wants to throw a fireball, he loses 2 points, but if he wants to throw a bucket of water to use that character, then he he will be teleported to a different point and get 2 points. The answer is also a part of an else if statement and it 
it also teleports the player but not to a different place this time it just brings him back to the beginning of the game and he loses 10 points the earth enemy is when that happens like in doing the if function if the player presses the fireball he will be put back to the beginning of the game and if he wants to throw a bucket of water he will get 5 points and then can go on to where he's been at the enemy attack function is where the actual uh, enemy detects the player or the player detects the enemy it just checks if the enemy has been detected by the player as that is if this P was uh, hit the Y then the fire enemy function starts which is ask him uh, the question and then the user puts in all the information finishes the fire enemy function and then it replaces everything replaces the enemies and then the enemies are now positions in a different place see and there the same happens with all the other if functions here and in this treasure function it also detects if the user has detected any treasure somewhere there should be a treasure invisible then it ends the game and uh, tells the user that the treasure is worth equals his core current score in the in main function it calls again the format function it adds the enemies it know it must it tells that the win function is also available and the player properties it is set to the start of the game and then it, the area is drawn mm, so what it should in the do while loop it just makes the it just allow, calls the enemy attack function to it should always be available and also always play and and then I have the switch case of keys which is what I'm doing moving and if the player and I made an if sentence inside each case where it detects if the player hits a wall or not so it doesn't actually go into the walls and then it adds an empty space so it doesn't leave a trace it moves the player and clears uh, the screen and adds score and the same happens to each and one of them and now we can see I'm just gonna put the treasure I'm gonna make it visible so we can cheat and win and And ta -da, I've won, I did it, I reached the treasure and I have 5 gold. And this is how uh, my game works.